Welcome to Wild Biz Weekly, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Lynn Hinderocker, and we are taping right here at the Master Craft Center, just north of downtown Omaha. It's a fabulous experience. This is the revolution in media and in business news, particularly for the local Omaha community. Thanks for joining me, and thanks for joining me here on WildBizTV.com. There's a lot of educational videos. If you want to really connect with the most educated and helpful, informative executives, ch check out the other videos on this website, please. This is a very interesting page. You can learn a lot very quickly, faster we say than Google and more professional than YouTube. So thanks for joining me again. I've got three guests here and all three of them are people that have been part of the Wild Biz Weekly group in the past as we've uh, produced on the Creighton campus in the past. They've come back, their career continues to unfold and they have enormous lessons to offer us. So I'm so pleased to, uh, to introduce you to all three of them today and a special guest by the way. Hang around uh, here on the video uh, uh, player on the uh, the video stream streaming uh, uh, tool that you have right here on your uh, your website because Andy Greenberg is joining us today. It's a fabulous uh, interview and I promise you a great time. Anyway, my first interview today. This is a lady who is a coach. She came out of a completely different industry. She has uh, really uh, achieved some degree of prominence in the coaching. She's moved towards innovation. Here we are at the back end of 2012. She's doing a lot of strategic planning, a lot of discussions about innovation and coaching. This is a fabulous gal. Please welcome my friend Heather Legg, ladies and gentlemen, right here. <laughs> Heather! Hey! Good to see you again. Good to see you. You know, you never age. You look great. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Thank you. Hey, you know, as we move into 2013, this is a very transitional period. Of course, the political uh, thing is just behind us. We've got a, a, a kind of a blank slate in many ways, right? A lot of companies are trying to figure out how to make 2013 really pop for them, all right? 2012 has kind of been hanging in there a little bit, right? And I, and I know you're, you're, you're working with a lot of corporations around town, helping them, as I do sometimes, think about innovation in a more perceptive, actionable way. Tell me, tell me what, what are the key steps? If, if a company says, this is it, fourth quarter, next year, is going to be our year of innovation, new products and services and so on. Uh, let's give them some, some tips, shall we? Sure, absolutely. Well, first thing I would say is if your business planning process, so I would challenge your audience, if you don't think your business planning process is fun, you're missing something. Ah, I like fun. fun. It's the beginning of this event right here. So the word fun, fun. is thematic. All right, go ahead. I make it fun for my clients. So what I do differently, what my clients do differently is they plan in uh, their self into the business plan. So there are four things that I came up with. So we add this into the regular, traditional, boring business planning process. Okay. All right, so, so four, four tenets or maxims here? Mm -hmm. you, okay. need, you need those components. You gotta, you gotta figure out your financials. Those are critical to your business success. But there are four sort of non-traditional things that I've distilled down over the years and used with my clients. Good. What I see them doing differently is achieving amazing results. So the business plan, the whole point of the business plan, is results. Okay. Well, to let's make us give more them to effective. right away. Right? The first one okay. is. So, uh, well, in no particular order, the first one is be intentional with relationship building. So, business is about people. Right. It's not just sales transactions. How many people are involved in a sales transaction? So, business is about people. Be intentional. Relationship building. Include a referral plan if that's appropriate for your industry. Uh, it's getting out there, meeting with the people. Great, okay. So relationship relationships. building key. And so especially that. the ecosystem, realizing that there are all kinds of people that are indirectly mm -hmm. right, shaping the outcomes that you have. Absolutely. Sorry to interrupt, but that's, that's a very important point. Go ahead. No, that ties in with innovation because the more that you meet with people and talk and discuss, even if it's on a, on a personal level, you're getting ideas, you're ideating as you're conversing with other people. Yes. So uh, second one, time blocking. So plan your ideal week. So this is time and task management. We all struggle, we all overwhelm time crunch, reactive, yes. uh, rather than more effective. Oh boy. Um, a lack of focus. So when I work with my clients, it's intentionally sitting down. This is my perfect week or my perfect month, if that's more appropriate for you. So we envision so, the ideal, the ideal time allocation. Right. right. So this comes from, we've all called the doctor's office and said, well, can I get in Wednesday morning? Well, they only work Tuesdays from 1 to 3, yes. Thursdays from 5 to 7. Oh yeah, we've heard all that <laughs> and before. And Fridays from 9 to 11, you're like, I want that schedule. So work <laughs> on it. You don't want to work on Mondays? Plan it in. Figure yes. out what you're going to do every day of the week or the month and use those time blocking techniques. Okay. So plan yourself into the business, make yourself more effective and, and hone that focus. Good. Anything um, else? Attitude is key. Adopt a philosophy of goal achieving versus just goal setting. So instead of the rote incremental improvements on last year, think about what is it that I really want to see happen in our business this year? What do I want to see happen for me? And then 
use goal setting, goal achieving techniques hmm. as you're setting your goals. It'll automatically make you more successful hmm. for okay. 2013, the best year ever. Have fun while you're doing it. Have fun while you're implementing it. That's the key to better business. That's that's great. All four points. Now let me ask you this real quickly. You know, we hear a lot about is it is it, is it the goal and the outcome that really matters, or is it the process and following all the components in the process that matters? Oh. Which one of those two do you, do you place an emphasis on? Well, it's both, but I would say the outcome is more important. So when you 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 got your eye on the ball, so to speak, the process comes more naturally. So mm -hmm. if you have to pick one or the other, and you don't want to, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm work on the outcome. What do you really want to see happen? Okay. Focus and let me ask one more quick question as we wrap up, Heather Legg, with Envision Success. We want to mention that. It's the name of your firm, right? Yes. And it's uh, EnvisionSuccess.com. Is that correct? EnvisionSuccessInc.com. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. uh, what if it's not fun or doesn't feel fun to try to pursue these goals that you focused on and, and mm -hmm. think are so important? Is that an attitudinal problem or is it the wrong goal? Uh, probably the wrong goal, but it could be both. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. All right. You, you, you kind of bridged there as we were segueing. It could be good, it could be this, could be that. Well, I have to tell you, I, I so enjoy your, your contribution here. And as we have these Creighton Business students here in the audience, <clears throat> that's your opportunity, folks. Thank you. As we, as we have these Creighton Business students here in the audience, I think all of them are searching for this philosophy. They kind of want to know what the big picture is and how they fit into that big picture. So striving to achieve that, I think, is fundamental to the whole thing. I really appreciate you making that point. Great to see you here. Heather Legg, thank you so much. Thanks, Lynn. Th congratulations here, on everybody. your progress. Heather Legg, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back with Larry Humberstone, Law Biz Weekly. Thanks for joining me.